Seat occupancy rate refers to the percent of seats which are occupied in any given period. Very similar to table occupancy rate, this analyzes the individual seats in the restaurant opposed to tables. Below is an example scenario and formula that is used to calculate this KPI. Assume that a restaurant has a total of 120 seats and that 70 of them are occupied for lunch service on a Monday that again runs from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. for three hours. In this case, assuming one sitting, the seat occupancy rate percentage for this period would be 58.3%. This is the formula used for this calculation. Seats occupied multiplied by meal duration in minutes divided by seats available multiplied by opening time period in minutes. Multiply that by 100 and it will give you the seats occupancy rate percentage. Using this formula, try to arrive at the 58.3% yourself. Again, this example is based on one sitting only. Let's consider an example of how to calculate occupancy rates for multiple sittings. For multiple sittings again, it is important to capture the total time that tables are available in minutes as well as the total time that tables are occupied in minutes. Assume you have 70 seats occupied out of a total of 120. However, although the restaurant is open for 3 hours, each seat is occupied only for 90 minutes. So then, the seat occupancy percentage equals 70 multiplied by 90 divided by 120 multiplied by 180, which will give you 29.2%. Now, how is this information used compared to table occupancy? The seat occupancy rate percentage is a calculation which is used to maximize the number of covers in the restaurant through any given period. It must be analyzed with the table occupancy rate percentage, as the seat occupancy rate percentage is only important if a restaurant has a high table occupancy rate percentage. Why is this? If a restaurant has empty tables, i.e. low table occupancy, and it is known that this will be the case for the whole duration of a specific day, then the venue will be happy for a single guest to sit at a table of four. The persons per table will matter less. Alternately, if the table occupancy rate percentage is high and the seat occupancy rate percentage is low, then the spend per table will not be optimal. In this case, a potential strategy might include re-looking at the reservations and seating procedure. It is likely there will be an opportunity to increase the total covers served during this period by being stricter with reservation sizes in the restaurant, or alternatively, addressing the table layout to minimize unused seats.